So my friend Amy has this picture and she was having a heck of a time figuring out how to trace it. She wanted to put it on a t-shirt, I believe. Um, so this is, uh, I'm going to show you how I would do this if I was making this picture. Um, first, I would trace this as you go to path, you trace bitmap. I, as far as the colors go, I go up and down on the colors until I find I have all the colors I need. The nose is still not pink here, but that's easy enough to figure out, so I'm going to leave it with five colors. I always make sure colors are selected. I take smooth off where it takes too much of the detail out, and I leave remove background on so that you don't have the white background behind it like this. Hit OK. Get out of there. And now the image on top is going to be the new one. This is the clear one. That's the one you want. So you can see right through it. This is the original like JPEG or whatever this was. So that one we take out of the way. This is the one we want. To zoom in, if you do control and then scroll with your mouse, you can zoom in a little. See how it has this like shadowy layer underneath? I don't want that layer. Um, if you double click on this, it'll ungroup it. See now you have all these different layers. Control Z undoes whatever you just did. So I'm going to get this gray layer here, and I'm going to get rid of it, because I don't want that one. And then I'm going to get this blue layer here, and then get rid of that one too, because I don't really need that one either. Now we just have the shape, which is what I want. There's still a few layers here, but I kind of need those, because they have a lot of the detail in them. Um, so what I'm going to do is color in the parts uh, to make the different layers. There's going to be basically a white layer a black layer, a brown layer, a little blue layer here, and a little itty bitty pink layer here. So we're going to color in all of those different layers. See when I click on this, so you can see that it's selected, there's a dash box around it. I want to click somewhere else so that nothing is selected. So I'm just going to click over here, nothing is selected now. Go to my paint bucket, and I'm going to just pick a brown nice dark brown here, and I'm going to color in the brown areas. It looks like this and this too. So now I think I have all the brown. If I go to my select tool now, it'll select the one I'm on. I'm going to hold the shift button and select all of the brown pieces that I just colored. So now I have all of them selected at the same time. You can see all the boxes around all of them. You do control plus plus, control plus plus, it unions them all. I use keyboard shortcuts for everything. You can do all of this stuff with the menus too. Um, that uh, control plus plus is the same as doing union. See over here it says control plus plus. It gives you all your shortcuts next to the, the things that you're going to be doing. So now we have a brown layer. I'm just going to kind of, oh, let me throw it get rid of these. Alright, so now I have a brown layer. Stick that over there for now. Then I'm going to do my white layer. And my little secret for this, click off of everything again, go to your paint bucket. I don't do it white, because if you do it white right from the start, you can't see the layer. And it's really easy to lose them. So I usually do it a gray, and then at the end I change it back over to white. Um, but so there's my white layer. If I go to select, you can still see it so that you have it there to move around. So I'm going to drag that out of the way. And now I need the little blue eyes. So again, I'm going to click off of everything. I'm going to pick a oh, paint bucket. Pick a nice bright blue. I'm going to color his eyes. Go to the select tool again. Hold shift. Click on the other one. And again, control plus plus to union them. We have our blue layer, and that goes out of the way. I'm going to color his little nose there the same way. I'll just pick a pink. It doesn't really matter the color. I'm going to color in his nose. I'm going to drag that out of the way. And then the only color that's left is the black. And this happens to have a 
double click on it, it'll ungroup it. I now don't need that layer anymore. And all I have left is the black layer. We obviously don't want all of this stuff in here anymore though. We want basically a background for all of this. So what I'm going to do is make this one solid black image. So if you go to path, you go to break apart, that's what it does. <laughs> this is the best way to make a background for your image. It'll fill in all of the spaces. Now if you go to path, union, or control plus plus, it makes it one solid black piece. So now we have that. We're going to drag it behind everything here. I'm going to take this whole thing, I'm going to drag a box around the whole thing and bring it in here. Just so it's easier for me to see. And now you can kind of move the layers around if you need to. They're actually already really pretty close to being dead on. But so now you have all five of those layers. And there's the original, and now I'm going to make this white again. You turn it back to white, and there you have it. So I get rid of the original image. You can group these together, Control G will group them, and then they'll stay where they are when you try to upload them in Design Space or wherever you're bringing it. And then when you save it, save it as a plain SVG. And that's all there is to it. So this was for my friend Amy. Amy, hope that helped. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.